wipe the sleep from my eyes I throw on my boots and my camouflage I head out the door to the hunting lodge It's a place I've hunted since I was a kid Just like my grandpa and daddy did Oh, hey there. What you doing? Oh, tinkering on the European mount, what do you think? It's coming out pretty good. Coming out good? Go chair instead of the other one. Sure. That's spell. Oh. Well, get a little coyote hunting. I like my camels. That's nice. Yeah. Won't be long, the snow will be gone though. I know, with this weather. Oh, at least the wood stove's going nice and cozy. Put that up there, let it dry. Yeah, I fired up the wood stove. Oh. What's going on? Still a little nipple here in Vermont. Yeah, it's cold. <coughs> cold. Oh. Boy, I was sitting down there, yo hunting earlier, just kind of reflecting on what a weird year, huh? Oh, for sure, yeah. 2023 hunting season was definitely, I'd say one for the books, but one for uh, memories and definitely a show of change in the weathers we're having around here in the Northeast. Good God. If it wasn't raining, it was blowing like a hurricane and if it wasn't blowing like a hurricane it was 80 degrees out there in bow season yeah i know it's it's really weird i think to uh to be in a cut off shirt up in the tree stand yeah swatting the bugs and stuff away because it's so warm out yeah and, with, and then the next week and it's pouring rain out and you're in your blind trying to stay warm because the temperatures drop 20 degrees trying to stop your blind from <laughs> collapsing because it's raining so hard ah and with the weird things that happen personally this year and not being able to do everything we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it and i'm not used to being able to have that much time during bow season right, right. that's usually rifle season that i take time off but uh <clears throat> golly gee it uh started with uh well we were getting some pretty good pictures we're getting a lot of pictures of different things we uh we decided to try something new this year and we got uh Got some of our food plot seeds from Whitetail Greens and mixed up a few areas of the ground, even though it's it's no-till seed, but we, we scratched some new areas that we hadn't normally been scratching just to see what would happen. And by the geez of it, it had, had big effects this year for Whitetail Greens at Ghost 802 crew will be <clears throat> you up again. And uh for those that haven't checked out Whitetail Greens yet, get on their website, check them out. They're uh they're, they're good people. American veteran. Uh, they got three, four, four now, I think, different types of seed you can use. They got deer seed, turkey plot seeds, you name it. But back to our story here, they definitely sprouted right up, and the deers and stuff couldn't get enough of it. And definitely we got cameras on them. And got us excited. Got us really excited. Yeah. And then, of course, season started, and it was like a, torrential downpour almost every weekend it's like you had to hunt and hunt and hunt and just deal with it i guess and you couldn't hunt some spots because the water that you normally used to be able to walk across was chest deep yeah crazy yeah so we got a we got some footage from archery we got footage yeah. going on from rifle season and then there's going to be probably a mixture that you guys will see here coming up if you, you stay tuned and we had an early season muzzleloader now in Vermont. Yeah, if it it's wasn't like a for a, something. early and late season now. So there's going to be, I'll try to make sure it's pretty explained in there, but there'll be a little bit of a mixture. Speaking of something, I got the cameras out still. There goes the camera right now. Oh, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe the coyotes. Are coyotes. Down. Uh, so it might be a little bit of a mix with the muzzleloader seasons, but I'll try to edit that out so <clears> it uh, makes sense to you all. Um, you're not going to be able to pay attention to the weather in our videos because, again, it was hot, raining like crazy, a little bit of snow. Wait, they will be able to then see it. one part of it, how deep that water was <laughs> I'm telling you about. Yes, yes, you will. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for Caleb, it was me hunting in the darn rain. And then, uh, for those who don't know, you might, might not know, Shane and I have given most of our our uh, teenage and adult life to our town uh, as firefighters and uh, we uh, we decided 
I tried 20 something years ago and have been working this individual for that long, um, wanting to put a dry hydrant in his pond because we just don't have any water in that area of the town for protect people and life and property. And we finally got him to say yes this year. Guess when he wanted to do it. If you're thinking bow season, you're right. Then early rifle season there and muzzle loading. Muzzle loader, a little bit of rifle. You're right. And in the big first first weekend? First, last weekend. Yeah, it was the last weekend last of rifle. Last weekend of rifle. Because we had to dodge the rain and the, the weather to be able to get it done. Yep. Yep. My golly. So Wait, we're, we're busy all around. So uh well, what we'd like to do is is thank you. Uh, thank the sponsors. And by doing that, check them out, folks. Uh, look them up. Check them out. We, we'll, you'll see them embedded here in the videos. Um, because they do what they do so you can do what you do. How's that? Pretty, pretty much Exactly. Easy. Yeah. Basically, you go on our Facebook, go on our YouTube. You'll see, see the sponsors if you're confused about what ones are. Well, no, we can give you the names. Uh, I can rattle off a couple right now. White Tail Greens we spoke about. Uh, Scent Blaster you're going to see in the videos. Uh, Nature's Voice Game Calls you're going to see in the videos. <coughs> we got uh, VIP Archery. Um, AAE Archery. We got the Archery Shack with your strings and whatnot. Bonus Ring. Um, just let us know. We can hook you up to them. Let them know that Go say the two sent you there. Myself or the Fox. Can I give him a Suggested teaser? Suggested Can I give him a teaser? We weren't gonna, but I guess. So, <laughs> all during bow season, I bought a nice, I bought a nice comp or a, what do you call them things? Yeah, crossbow. He's still trying to figure it out. Crossbow. He got himself a crossbow. Two years ago. And I just, I've shot bow for so many years that it's just that weird new, you know, you get it. I need more practice with it. But I'm pretty deadly out to 50, 55 yards with it. I took that with me every single day because I really haven't taken anything with it. And I say that if I don't take something with one of my weapons, it isn't paid for yet. So once I take something with it, then it's paid for, you know, in my mind. And uh, so I took that every single day with me, except one day. It was pouring rain. You see, it's raining cats and dogs. I think it was heifers and, and young cattle. It was raining so hard. And uh, I decided to take my compound with me that day. And it got so cold and so wet. I said to Echo that I'm coming home. I'm going to get some soup. That's all I'm going to tell you. How's that? Yes, yeah, so you guys have to stay tuned and watch. Again, we had a... It was an interesting year. <coughs> We've got a... Two, three. I'll just say there's probably a handful or more uh, harvests. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Stories and to go along with them. We've even got a special guest on here and this year. Sadly, uh, our target bucks, one by one, started to diminish, started to drop. Started to drop, and we were getting pictures from from the neighbors. It always seemed to be the days that we were working on that hydrant. <laughs> Yep. Couldn't be out in the stand or in the blind and yep. working on the hydrant, and which uh, is one of our neighbors. Well, of I guess he's kind of family now. One of our, our neighbors, he got a, you'll see it. My goodness, that's a beauty for Vermont. Yep, sure. Beauty. So that's that. Uh, thank you. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, all that stuff that Shane takes care of. Yeah, share to your friends, family. If you're interested in us and you're in Vermont, uh, we try to stay to Vermont is, residents. This is really long and big. It they're warm. Here. Yeah. Nature, or yeah, Nature's Voice Game Calls right here. You can yeah. get yourself hooked up with this Check timber this camo. They got winter snow camo. They got, I think they've got like a fall real tree type look. It's um, like, you're, like you're wearing a sheet. Yeah, they're warm. You won't want anything else on under that in this time of the year. You stay warm. How's my banana? I, I, I think I'd rather have Dana in it like, myself, but... Like my grandson just said, Grandpa, you look fat with that. <laughs> they keep you warm, though, so... If you're interested in apparel, it's not just calls. They've got all that stuff they can hook you up with, too. Okay, <clears throat> Back to... Where was I at there? Kept me warm out there hunting in Yolk so while ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, I lost my train of thought here, but... Sorry. If you stay tuned... 
It'd be a good video. It'd be good. Maybe Probably you can break it up in two. I don't well, know. Oh, yeah, back to I do remember now. Jog my memory. Vermonters. We try to keep it to Vermont. Go State 02. Um, we like the support and the views from outside of Vermont, of course. But if you're interested in becoming part of Go State 02, feel free to reach out. We have field staff members, pro staff members. Um, obviously, if you've ever been pro staff or field staff of a company or organization or whatnot, you know kind of the deal. Um, we're always looking for more people, but there's a process to it uh, to get in. I'll leave it there. If you're interested, reach out to us. Again, stay tuned. Y'all love it. Get a kid out. And until next time, hopefully this summer we'll be putting on some videos of us getting our sights all ready. So we're already prepared this year. Um, maybe do a little bit of other hunting. Turkey hunting we'll have hopefully this year. A um, little bit of yolk hunting. Breed, get to, right now is breeding season. Yeah, so Didn't even get to do much turkey hunting this maybe year. Maybe some fishing even. We didn't get a lot of time on the water just because of everything else that was going on in life. Trying to get on the bikes when it wasn't. Dealing with family stuff. and That's that. Building bikes. So again, thank you. We all appreciate it. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to keep doing what we're doing. Until then, you're watching. You know, wait, wait. If they paid attention in the beginning of the video... They might know a part of what my story with my compound. That's right. You oh, gave, sorry. You, you gave out two teasers, but... You're watching. <laughs> Go State Go 02. Go State 02. Well, folks, here we are again. Yeah, I know. You haven't seen much of us this year. It's been a busy year. A lot of stuff with the family going on. Daughter had a lot of medical things that we had to tend to. And to me, uh, family's first. So hopefully this uh, deer season, we're going to rev things back up. We got uh, October 1st today, 2023, opening archery season in Vermont. As you can see, leaves are still green. People are cutting firewood to get stuff ready to roll for winter time, but today, probably can't guess, it's 71 degrees. That's why I'm not really in a lot of clothing right now. But got the Matthews ready to roll, some VIP broadheads ready to throw, archery shack strings. Stay tuned with us. You're on the hunt with Ghost 802. Caleb's already got one on the ground first thing this morning. I don't think he was in the woods more than 40 minutes. We had a lot of deer on camera this year. Threw some food plots together. It's go time. So keep watching, folks. If you haven't subscribed, you're just coming across these subscribe check us out on tiktok facebook youtube if you're interested in maybe getting involved with us and you're in vermont send us a message until then good luck to everybody else in the state stay tuned you're on the hunt with ghost 802 Going around the tree away from me. Over there. They're all puffed out. Mad. Apparently I made him mad. Porcupine. Here we are folks. Archery 2023. First chance I've had to get into the woods. Taking the uh, barnet for a walk today. We're headed in, headed into the blind right now if we don't fall down. And uh, I've got got some brown furries on the on the camera, but we'll see what happens this year. 
we're hooked up with our burnet. They're a fancy arrow. They're a, you know, calm arrows, bolts, running our VIP heads. And uh, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. You're on the hunt. Go stay here too. Okay, first time in the blind, getting the chair adjusted. You guys all know what it's like, getting everything adjusted, trying to stay black and quiet, all that other good stuff. So here we are, we're set. The wind's blowing a little bit. Now we wait, stay tuned. You're watching Ghost 802. Hunt lasts more than two hours. Shouldn't your favorite scent? With the all-new Scent Blaster, you can continually disperse your favorite scent while its silent fan, natural wick, and replaceable scent container do all the work for you for days. Put more muscle in your scent with Scent Blaster. So here I sat. About done for the day. And I got to wondering, as I see one go across my yard, what kind of shoes do frogs wear in the summertime? I got it. Open toads. <laughs> Nature's Voice Game Calls and On the Limb. Check out their podcast on any of your streaming devices. At on the Limb with Nature's Voice Game Calls. Well, I'm sitting in the woods for fun, hoping that a buck would come. Sitting, wasting time, a little one would be just fine. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting in the woods for fun, hoping a buck would come. I'm just sitting in the woods for fun, wasting time. Okay, go say to two fans. As you know, I didn't hunt with a crossbow. Because I haven't killed nothing with it. I figured it was time to do so. It is freaking raining out here today. <clears throat> so I said, screw it. Let's uh, let's try to take the bow out. That's right. You know how much I love my bear archery. We're shooting gold tip, hunter 400 pros, and our VIP broadheads. I was just heading out over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my mouth is full of cotton. Uh, coming out there, and I thought I saw deer down here. So I snuck down the edge, and the deer was right in this area. So I let her rip. I let her rip. I haven't found my arrow yet, but I stuck this one here because, looky, looky, it's pouring. I don't want to lose it. I went right straight this way, underneath this tree. So come along with me, folks. Oh, there's more blood. Come along with the fox. I love to see leaves turn red in the fall. Oh, it's raining so hard. There's more blood. There's more blood. I think he went in here. Somebody's got a scrape right there. Oh, there's some more blood. There's some more blood. There's some more blood. Looks 
like you stumbled in here. Anymore. I stumbled right here. Pretty good. Gotta be right here. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. There it is. There it is. There it is, folks. Let's make sure. He's gone. Folks, let me get this thing spun around. Oh, my God. The fox is done. Well, folks, don't you hear? Don't you hear? Huh? Look at that. What a beauty buck. We've got this deer on camera. I've been hunting this deer and another one all week. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for blessing me with this mighty white tail. Thank you for allowing me to be able to be out here in the wild and do what I love to do. And thank you for blessing me with this beauty old swamp donkey. It's back straps for dinner. Look at this again, folks. Yeah. So you'll see another video. I hunted this morning. It poured. I hate pouring in the, hunting in the pouring rain. Deer don't use the move too much. When they do, they move the meadows. And my blind's down in the woods. So I took a crossbow out, which I've been taking all year. Um, because I haven't gotten anything with it yet. And I said, screw it. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get changed. I'm gonna grab my bow. So I grabbed my bow and then headed back in. And I thought I saw a white tail, wiggle, wiggle, halfway down the meadow. As you can tell, it's pouring. I snuck down the edge of the meadow. I got him quartering away. I did just find my arrow as well. VIP Broadheads took this guy down, he didn't go, oh, maybe 80 yards, if that. And here he lays. God bless the USA. God bless you. Stay tuned, keep watching. Go stay at Oak 2 crew isn't done yet. I am, in Vermont, you can only get one buck. But uh, stay tuned, folks. I'm starting a new job. Wasn't gonna be able to hunt much rifle season. Now you can hunt coyotes. Check out our sponsors. Tell them the fox sent you. This is real, real fair chase, folks. There's no fences here except the barbed wire ones the farmers put up to keep the cows in. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, we got more to come. You're watching. Go State 02. Whew. Now the hard work comes. Gotta get some orange on. Get this guy out of here. So, folks, here we are. November 2nd. I don't know if this place looks familiar to you, but it's not where I'm normally sitting. <clears throat> the fox tagged out a few days ago. So, we've been watching our cameras and our other hit lister was here this morning. He was in my spot last night and well, he was here this morning. So, there's some ground scrapes here. I'm uh, hoping that he'll uh, come back and check on his scrapes. Got down in here into the blind and kind of thought this was cool. The fox left his tripod from his crossbow, must be. But it works really great as a compound bow holder. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned, folks. Hopefully, we'll have that other hit list on the ground soon. Nice, calm evening. Well, folks, we didn't make it happen yesterday. <clears throat> Got in because it was dark. About 20 minutes after dark. Bang! camera's hit the buck was in front of the camera so he waited till dark last night to travel 
This morning I, uh, I guess I missed my alarm a little bit. And uh, nine o'clock he was right here in front of the blind again. Shame on me. That's why it's hunting, not killing, I guess. So we're out here again, wind is whipping. I walked in, I actually saw him in the distance, pulled up, but he's a little bit too far away for me to uh, shoot a bow through the trees. Rifle season, I probably could have had a shot, but he just kind of meandered down over the bank. So we set up here with our, uh, our blind and we're gonna let the wind swirl and hopefully he comes back around. Stay tuned, it ain't over yet. We got a lot of hunting to do and hopefully we can get Ghost Hitter 2 ramping again like we used to have it. It's been slow lately, but we're trying to get back up and going. Thank you to our viewers, thank you to our sponsors, thank you to all the field staff, pro staff, and all the uh, others that support us. Stay tuned. Hey folks, it's November 4th. Going on an evening hunt this morning. I came in and as quiet as can be, didn't see anything. I was walking out of the woods and actually came up onto a good, a nice four pointer. And uh, couldn't get a shot 84 yards out in a bunch of brush. So this afternoon, I brought my little buddy, Winston. He's coming on the hunt with us today. But this is what we're all about, bringing the youth up and teaching them the right ways. Looks like we gotta get some more camo for him because he's starting to grow out of his old stuff, but that's because he's a growing boy. Pretty soon he'll be carrying his own bow out here hunting with us. So we're gonna be getting the blind, get super quiet and wait for the deers to come. Hey right, buddy. Yeah, that's because time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> All right, buddy. What do you say? Hi. Good luck, everybody. You're watching Ghost 802. There he is. That's bigger, you know. Yeah. Okay. Education time. Look at that hole. The arrow went in like this. This is not the arrow, by the way. <clears throat> arrow went in like this and started to come out of here at this angle. So it got lodged in the, in the, uh, <laughs> excuse me, in the uh, front shoulder over here. But he was just angling away. And I, oops, now what do I do? I sent that combat. Veteran right through this. Now I got this arrow, Kaka. This one happens to be my second throw, but I, I hit it at a deep 46 yards. Look at the damage that thing did. Holy crap! And if you wonder how much damage, you know, the average arrow, these are the short two inch fletchings. VIP, look those guys up. Hey folks, it's uh, November 8th, Wednesday night. We've had deer on the food plot every night. So I got out of work, it's still daylight, so I came up to the field to sit. Food plot's right over here. So we're gonna sit tight and see what happens before it gets too dark. Uh, it's Wednesday, so we got two more days of archery here in Vermont. And mighty old rifle season start for two weeks. And it goes back to our tree. So we'll see what happens. We don't get a buck tonight, then we're gonna be hunting hard Friday. We'll be on Friday, we got two weeks of rifle. 
So stay with us, folks. Well, here we are in upstate New York. Uh, <clears throat> back where I grew up. Just looking to see if maybe we can find ourselves a buck or a doe wandering through. Uh, this is a deer management area, so I have both tags. Uh, sitting here in the swamp here, hoping I can find something either coming in or out. So, uh, stay tuned. We'll see if anything happens here today or not. And uh, thank you to all the veterans out there for uh, today being Veterans Day. And uh, thank you every day for... Uh, making this great country that we have here and uh, the freedom that it allows us to uh, do this great sport of ours. Um, and uh, stay tuned. I'm going to send this uh, out to the Fox. So uh, this is uh, Flintstone reporting from uh, upstate New York. And uh, I'll show you what we got here. Pretty nice area. Once again, have a great day and uh, just recording this for uh, for Ghost 802 and uh, I'm going to send this out to the Fox. Take care and have a good day, everybody.